Welcome back, Benedict here. Today we're gonna compare our three delay pedals. Let's stick right into it, I'd say. We got the digital delay, then the D-seed, and our DL5, custom line DL5 delay. What's the difference, you might ask? Well, there are a couple of differences. First, only one is tap, has a tap function, and only one is able to store presets, and that's the D-seed. So in case you don't need that, so maybe you just need one sound, like a slapback or a longer delay, then you're good to go with these two, with a digital delay or the DL5. But if you want to store presets and change the, the speed of the delay on the fly in a song, <clears throat> the DC might be for you. But, of course, they do sound different as well. So let's take a listen and see and hear how they sound. Let's start with the di uh, digital delay. Here we go. Let's hear it with a DC. Pretty equal, but I'm running it on the analog setting, just in case, so you know. And now let's have a listen to the DL5. So of course, with all knobs on 12, you get some difference in variations on the delay length and as well as on the amount of repeats. Let's have a take a closer listen to the DL5 because it actually sounds a little darker, so you get less treble as the delays move on. Let's have a listen. Same thing, with a D seed. So this one does taper off the bass a little as well. And digital delay, here we go. thing about the DL5 is this knob here. It lets you set the range of the amount of delay, not the amount, the time of delay you're getting from the knob. On the longest setting, which is called short, you get up to 600 milliseconds. By shortening it, you get less. Very handy for slapback delays, for example, where you want to have it like perfect. So let's dial in a slapback setting. Let's take a closer look at the D-seed. It's a little more complex, but still nonetheless very easy to, to deal and to set up. We got four different delay settings. We got number one is the copy setting, which replicates the original signal that you put in completely. The first signal from your guitar and as well as the delays are pretty much equal. Then let's take a listen to the analog setting, which sounds a little warmer, less bass, less treble, more mid focus. And let's have a listen to the modulation setting. So you can hear there's some chorusing going on. That's especially cool if you're playing some chords. And another one is the reverse. Let's crank up the mix so you can really hear it. That 
that's the D seed. <laughs> so a lot of functions, a lot of sounds packed into very small size and package. All right, now let's go back to the digital delay, which is actually my favorite. And I think that's because of the sound. I just like the sound that with a less bass, more pronounced highs, it's, it reminds me of like a tape delay. Of course, this is not a faithful reproduction of a tape delay, but it sounds tape-like. <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite. I really like it. And yeah, what's your favorite delay pedal of these three? Let us know in the comments. And of course, until next time, see you on Facebook and Instagram. Well then, bye bye.